Hey guys, this is Food Free Ride, and um, today uh, we're here in uh, Brickell, uh, downtown Miami, and um, I want to show you our newest launch, which is the uh, City Rider electric scooter. And um, this will uh, be a little review and actually presentation of what the scooter is all about to give you a better idea of what's going on. So, um, a, a fitting to the environment where we are in this is a scooter for the city and um, we believe it's probably best for like those shorter commutes um, the overall range is uh, 10 miles roughly and um, um, I think it's best for people who um, have tried uh, those sharing electric scooters like uh, Bird and Lime and they think hey I mean why do I spend um, five to fifteen dollars every day on those rental scooters and just buy one myself and then um, you know use it myself and use it all the time whenever I want to. Um, I would say this one is very comparable in terms of performance and features to these uh, rental scooters that you see um, riding around. So in terms of specs it has a 7.5 ampere hour um, battery, um, 36 volts and has a 300 watt uh, front motor. Um, so it'll go um, 18, maybe 20 miles an hour, um, 30 kilometers per hour in total. Um, it, uh, in terms of range, as I said, um, roughly 10 miles, but you know, that always varies a little bit. Um, but then it has some other really cool features that I like, which is, uh, first of all, is the design. Um, you see the nice wooden board with the black grip tape, and then the nice lines um, done by the frame. You see around here how it's nicely bent and kind of, um, it's welded here, but it looks almost like it's formed out of one piece because it's so nicely bent down here. Um, it has a bright um, front headlight, um, rear light, um, it has two turn signals, which we're going to show you in a second. That's pretty cool when you're riding in traffic. I personally find that is a really cool feature, especially when you're riding in the night, you're riding on the street to kind of indicate that. Um, and then, um, obviously it has a kickstand, as you can see. Um, it's foldable, it's pretty lightweight. Um, in total, the weight of this one is going to be 27, 28 pounds. And um, so, so it kind of is portable enough to still carry around on um, in your hand and kind of carry up the stairs to your office, take it on a train, um, store it away at home. And I'm going to show you how to fold it up. Uh, there's a very nice folding mechanism where you just hit this little button and then you can open, you can open it up without problem. There you go. And then it folds down and it connects. Get the cable out. It connects right here in the back so that you can nicely carry it in one hand. And I'll show you. It actually goes here and it's actually very, very light. Um, 27, 28 pounds. Um, you see how well that works. So let's unfold it again. And you move this lever forward, push it all the way to the front, and then ensure this nicely snaps into place. And what I also like about it is there's no stem wobble. It feels very, very tight overall. So let's talk a little bit about the other features um, of this scooter as well. It has a drum brake um, for the rear wheel. So proper physical brake. Plus it has a step on brake right here with some metal inside. So, oh yeah, there you go. With some metal inside so that actually you can step on it right here in order to brake. So dual brakes. Um, uh, it has the turn signals we already talked about and then in terms of suspension there's actually no extra suspension included here as it's pretty common for those that say inner city commute type of scooters but we're using never flat honeycomb tires on this scooter that means um, these um, don't have an air tube or anything inside but they are solid rubber with air pockets inside of them which makes for a relatively smooth ride it's not quite as smooth as air um, but it does provide some for some additional suspension inside the tires so um, that when you hit some bumps like these small ones around here um, you actually feel it's relatively comfortable and um, in a second we're going to take you for a ride and you're actually going to see how nice and smooth this one is riding. Um, so we uh, talked about the folding, we talked about the rear drum brake, um, the tires. The tires are eight and a half inch in uh, diameter and two inches wide and again as you can see overall it's uh, pretty similar in form factor to the Xiaomi M365. Um, I like this design personally a little better because it looks unique and I like the wooden board uh, but overall um, it's relatively similar. You can see the battery is right here in the footboard um, which makes for good riding characteristics overall. 
One additional feature about the scooter, and this is uh, important for, uh, let's say, daily commuter use, it's um, IP54 um, water resistant. That means you can use it in light rain. And I'll um, um, show in a little video box um, while I'm speaking, I'll show how the manufacturer actually tested this by submerging the front wheel into a water puddle um, without actually damaging any of the electronics. So you see it's pretty waterproof and uh, yeah, as expected for a little all-round commuter scooter like this. Um, then um, it has two gears. Uh, I personally not a big fan of these two gears because anyways it's relatively slow with only 80 to 20 miles per hour. Um, so the first gear kind of limits it at 10 miles per hour but it feels like a electric limiting and then the second gear is fully open and it goes until um, 80 to 20 miles per hour. Um, the display is only in kilometers per hour um, for now and it's impossible to show it in miles per hour but in the next iteration of the scooter we're gonna have to show proper miles per hour but the current scooter if you're buying right now it's only kilometers per hour. Um, this version does have a type of cruise control and I have to admit I personally don't love it. Um, it's automatic, it's impossible to turn off. Uh, it basically means as soon as you hit um, about 10 to 12 miles per hour, you'll hear a dual beep and the scooter will start holding your speed until you actually quickly touch the throttle again or hit the brake. Um, personally, not a big fan. We're also going to turn that off for the next iteration, um, but at this point in time, this is how it gets delivered. Um, and uh, it can be convenient on these longer commutes if you actually want to take your finger off the throttle and just keep on riding along. Um, yeah, as said, personally, uh, not a big fan of cruise control in general for electric scooters because sometimes it just feels like, oh, my gas is sticky, why is that? But if you know, you can obviously prepare for that and there's no problem at all. Um, it has this nice little hook right here, um, which will enable you to uh, hang shopping bags or your backpack um, in case you're going to work. Um, and um, overall, quite nice. So now let's look at the display. It's uh, overall relatively sleek, as you can see. It's edgeless and it's really nicely designed. Um, let's turn on the scooter right here. There you go, turns on. Gear setting, it's currently set to gear two, speed two, S2. Um, a double click on the power button will set it to speed one and back to speed two. Then a longer press on the headlight button will turn on the headlight. See the rear light right here. And you see the headlight right there. It's actually pretty nice and bright at night. And then we come to my favorite feature, which is turn signals. One press right here, you see right there it starts blinking and another press it will stop. One press right here it will start blinking to the left. Let's see how this looks like in the back. Also in case you ever want to um, store the scooter at home in a smaller place there's no problem in actually taking these handlebars out and you get a, um, a much more smaller um, overall storage space for your scooter. Now we're going to try out the new Cindy Rider and um, I'll show you how it goes. So um, overall, acceleration is moderate, I would say, but I'm also used to uh, much more powerful scooters. Um, so we're going to hit full throttle right now. I'm going to turn right here. We're going to hit full throttle right from the start, and that gives you a little idea on how fast acceleration is. I uh, weigh roughly 180 pounds. It's full throttle right here. All right. And now I should be at full speed, pretty much. This is how fast it goes. And now a quick brake. And you see the brakes work relatively well. Pass through traffic. So this is what the scooter is made for, right? Um, inner city rides, sidewalks usually, because it's really not that fast to go uh, together with the cars. But if you wanted uh, to have this for a proper commute, um, inner city, you take this on a train, um, and then uh, you use it for the last one to two miles to your office or to wherever you need to get. That's what it's made for and this is actually how it's pretty cool. And you can see how I'm uh, riding now, full speed, 
view over the sidewalk. Not a lot of people around today. It gives you a little idea on uh, how much fun that actually is. Right. Very nice. You see, stopping power is very, very good. Just pass through here. We continue a little bit on the sidewalk. And uh, I mean, there are some bumps here on the sidewalk as well, and you feel them, but actually it's surprisingly smooth, given that it, is, uh, that it has um, airless tires, but it does have honeycomb tires, which uh, help a lot in making this a little smoother. All right. question that we're certainly going to get is how is this performing on hills and uh, well this is Miami so I don't have a lot of hills but I can show you a little bridge that we have here and it'll give you a good idea of uh, how well this is performing on at least small hills you know this is not the wide wheel so don't expect miracles but the 301 motor will definitely get us up the uh, little bridge that you see up front over there you can see it uh, I'm going to take you now and we're going to see how that goes. 